What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. Form has taken off there. Finally, 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 NASA has listened to us. I don't know if they heard us on other side of Midnight Radio Show talking about this. These flows have been seen for a long time on Mars. We, they, they admitted the flows were being seen from satellites, but they had not talked about the 20 or so pictures that we found um, showing these things. This was one of the first ones that showed the flows. You can see the other flows around it, just in the color, that this isn't you know, just a, a coincidence. And what we figured out is I went in back into all the data because all the planetary database just like all that in the PDS there has all the data from every single instrument. So... We found out what the temperature was on these images leading up. Within the week ahead of time, all of these went up above 32 degrees. So I call it water, liquid, whatever it is, it melts at 32 degrees. Um, that's that's what it seems to be. That seems to be the, the, the common denominator between when we see these and when we don't. And as you can see, they take chunks with it sometimes. I guess depending on how much has been collected, how it's been collected, I don't know. But they finally, I was about to put this video out. This was from Saul 1349. We got this one in, then we got this one in. And last night I was about to make a video and something made me hold off making the video. And I'm glad I did because finally they tested it. Check that out. There's the laser shots. It takes about 90 laser shots from the chem cam to... Uh, and the chem cam is an instrument that actually fires lasers uh, at something. And within 90 shots, it can relatively tell what the makeup of it is. Now, they didn't go in and scoop it up. It's also, you know, this is something you'd reach out and touch somebody with. I've enhanced the three pictures right here so you could take a look at them. Uh, we'll, we'll actually look how thick this one was. Whatever it was, the liquid was so thick when it did melt, it brought down a whole chunk of it. Now, and then it froze back up. Now, I don't have the temperature data for these, so this could be, you know, a lot older of a drip than what we saw in those first two. The first two looked like they were much, uh, they, they weren't as, you know, they were much newer. So these could have done this and just, you know, had been like that. But once again, I was getting fired up because they weren't going to test it. There is an international treaty that says if there's sources of water on another planet, we're not supposed to contaminate it. Now, shooting the chemical, the chem cam laser, and then we talked about this on the Hoagland show, and maybe, maybe they heard us, maybe they didn't. Either way, I'm just glad they finally taken a shot. And I'm waiting for the, the, in six months, I'll know the data to find out what exactly the composition of this was, because it's about time we found out. The Laser shots are much more deeper here, and then when you get up to like the cement type mixture, I don't know if you've ever mixed water um, with sand that's kind of coarse sand. You get a real kind of uh, kind of like a cement mixture. Um, kind of looks like here, you know. It it you could ball it up in your hand and throw it at somebody, and it would pretty much stay in a ball for a, you know, depending on how hard you threw it. You could keep it to stay in a ball to you know hit somebody five feet away easily. Uh, and then, you know, it was splatter all over the place. But to see that they fired the lasers at it, and I was going to get on them last night, and I was going <laughs> to... I was going to light them up. I am glad I waited that extra day. And my buddy, Chell, sharp eye, sent this over and said, finally, 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 they tested. Now, as always, six months, NASA gets the uh, people who make the rover, the people who make the instruments, they get to see the real data first. All we're seeing, these pictures are only 70% JPEG image artifacts all over them. So when you blow them up, there's all sorts of stuff that shouldn't be there. Um, the 8-bit ones come out 6 months to 12 months later, which is apparently standard for space agencies. But it looks like we've got one laser shot, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I thought it would be now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. And it's 90. So they're pop, 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 pop. They pop off 10. Pop off another 10. Pop off another 10. And they'll just take the chemical compounds. And hopefully, hopefully, we will find out what we're looking at. So, all right, guys. Very exciting. 
finally we got something and this isn't going to hurt anything because the source of water is up at the top just like here where you can actually see it on the rocks where it's gathering whether it's gathering from the atmosphere under the rocks and seeping up like a uh, you know like we have here on earth we've got wells or we've got waters that seeps up whatever however it's collecting um it's melting at 32 degrees. Like I said, when the, before the rover gets there the week prior, it goes up to 32 degrees or more. And at certain times, there's, uh, you know, Mars has all sorts of uh, great temperatures on it, depending where you are. Just like here on Earth, you can be in one spot and another 100 miles away, it could be, you know, 50 degrees cooler or 50 degrees warmer so where curiosity is right now it does get up above freezing and here's what you get now once again thank you nasa now give us the data for real so all right guys what's up in the sky 37 if you haven't signed up for the website yet i'm telling you please come check out the website you don't have to sign up just to get on it um but if i'm just going to go ahead and show you a little bit of it here just as a little, uh, what is it, a little commercial at the end of it. Yeah, come on. Let me let me get you guys to come on over and, and check it out. So I'm um, opening up the home button here. There's so much data on here now. There's so many people that have contributed. If you look at our, our forums are like gold. If you're an anomaly hunter, you want to share your stuff here. And this is a safe place to share it. When you share it here, you're not going to get, uh, you know, the trolls. There's no trolls here. Trolls get deleted. You're not going to get uh, Maline. There's going to be no uh, none of that uh, obsessive name calling and stuff like that. We debate things here on an intellectual level, and I invite everybody to come out and join our forums. All you have to do to sign up, you can sign up with Facebook, you can sign up with Twitter. All you have to do is hit the register button, and you're on your way. So, and if you just want to browse the website, check our articles out. You can go down through them. There's all sorts of articles. Uh, if you hit the hit the um, the load more button down here much more will come up uh, but if you hit the article buttons up at the top you can see them listed that way you're once you log in you get a bunch of other features uh, that's the, that's the cool thing they're free i'm not charging anybody extra to do it but you'll get instant messaging you can make your profile it's kind of neat you make a little profile it's like facebook but it's for your space friends so and we have a great community here all, all the people that come and check daily uh weekly the whoever there's people that are here every day they get to go through. there's that's that much data on the website so all right guys much love to you let's take a look at that one more time just to get our glorious uh now give us the data i hate i, I hate i gotta wait six months so they'll get this i've been talking about this with a bunch of my friends for I think a year and a half, and somebody else will get the credit in the science journal. In the science journal. So, all right, guys, Will Farrar, your buddy, what's up in the sky? Thirty-seven. Take it easy. Much love. Nope. Oh, much love. <laughs>